Celeb Secrets is hanging out with Katie and Paola today to talk about their new movie, Snow Babies. It's crazy to think the movie is finally coming and it's happening during this whole pandemic. <laughs> I know, I know, two and a half years later, I, or two years later, it's insane that it's coming out now. Wow, so I had no idea that you guys filmed it that long ago. But what was that whole process like for you guys? Maybe if you could sum it up a little bit. Yes, it was honestly such a special experience. I have never been on a set that was so collaborative, so creative. I think for all of us, I can say that it was very much a passion project. We we have a message behind the film that we're really trying to drive home. We put a lot of work into this. I think everyone gave their all 110%, whatever department we were in. There was a lot of trust within the cast, the crew. An amazing experience. I, I only have positive things to say about it. Of course, and I was gonna say, this is totally different from anything that you girls have done before. I mean, I followed I followed your careers over the years, and when I saw this, I was like, wow, this is a really, really heavy film. So what really attracted you guys to these roles that you wanted to play these characters? I was so impressed when I first read the script. I feel like there are not many scripts nowadays written with two amazing young for, for two amazing young actresses like this is something that is a dream role mm -hmm. we got to research for this project we went to dark places within ourselves i know with katie like we there was so much trust between each other because we had to do some pretty intense scenes together yeah. which was so special because like you know when when you know that you can trust your scene partner to really go there with you. That's so special as an actress. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was it was real different than the Nickelodeon. Yeah. I'll say that. <laughs> I actually received the script for Snow Babies back in 2017, so very long time ago. Um, originally, I had read for a, a different character, a secondary character, and they were seeking a star name for the lead of, for the role of Kristen. So, you know, obviously at the time, or even now, you know, I'm no star name, you know, I'm, I'm no Elle Fanning or anything. So it really wasn't even an option for me to read for Kristen, but I was still, you know, so happy about the other character that, you know, I could be attached to this amazing film with an amazing message. Um, and then a couple months went by, I didn't really hear anything. And then we got a call from the director, Bridget Smith. And, you know, she offered me the lead role of Kristen, which was completely unexpected. And, you know, I, I never could have dreamed in a million years she would have trusted me enough to be able to take on that role. And, you know, I'm so thankful that she really took that chance on me because essentially, you know, it's 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 launching my career. And I just really am so thankful for her for that. And, you know, it was just, it was an amazing experience having Paola play Hannah and we, we already knew each other in real life before we even, you know, met on, or were working together on set. So like she said, it was really special to have someone who you knew would give 110% and it would allow me to also give 110%. Of course. I was going to say, you know, the acting is just so real and the story is so real too. I feel like so many people can relate to it. Maybe can you go dive deep into a little bit of that on how you said, you know, you did research and really prepped for everything like that? Yeah, we did, we, uh, uh, me and Paula both, I mean, even together, because we live in the same city. So we, we got together, we were watching every documentary, every article, every statistic. I mean, Paula can definitely vouch for that there. Like yeah. we were reading left and right. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I think it was really important for us to, sorry, it was adjusting, really important for us to do this justice because it is people's real lives. Mm -hmm. So this isn't something that you want to scrape the surface level with. You want people to watch it. You want to give an authentic performance. Mm -hmm. And you want people to see themselves in these characters because people will relate to Kristen and Hannah. I think even parents will relate to the family and the fact that they, they miss the signs of addiction. The fact that Kristen and Hannah can so easily hide their addiction as well you you wouldn't imagine that something like heroin is something that's easy to hide but it's crazy it is it's very eye-opening i know for both of us we didn't realize just how prominent this was i mean you hear about the opioid epidemic mm -hmm. but it's definitely not talked about enough so when you really dive deep and do the research it is insane how underfunded recovery is how misunderstood mm -hmm. it is so i'm glad that snow babies is bringing attention to that of course. Yeah, and furthermore, I feel like with Snow Babies, it gives us the opportunity to remove the stigma of having an addiction or having the stigma of going to rehab or whatever, because I feel like in 2020, we live in a time where, you know what, it, there's no stigma. You, sh you can tell someone you went to rehab, like you tell them what they ate for lunch, you know what I mean? Like, I just really don't feel like there should be any sort of negative connotation 
around seeking help because you know that's you're gonna be the best version of yourself after you go get help and so i really think that snow babies will hopefully allow people to see that there can be no stigma and that you know they should go get help because it is possible to to be in recovery yeah yeah and you know you never would think that you know girls like the characters that you played would have this addiction and would have this problem you know yeah so we really wanted to drive home as well that Addiction does not discriminate. It doesn't matter how old you are, where you're from, anything like that. It really doesn't matter. This can affect you. Absolutely. Yeah. And even just piggybacking off of, you know, people really not knowing that addiction can affect anyone. It is a disease at the end of the day. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't discriminate. It doesn't care where you come from, how much money you have, etc. And one of the things that the writer Mike Walsh did that really helped, I, I speak for the both of us, I think, but um, one of the nights before we started filming, he took us to, yeah, he took us to Kensington, and Pal can talk a little bit more about that, but it was so eye-opening to see these drug deals happening right in front of our eyes, out in the open. There were young girls our age. Oh, that Wednesday were, night. Oh, this, what, was Wednesday, it Wednesday night? Wednesday yes. night, and you would have thought it was a Saturday evening, for real. I mean, they were. it was popping, and I think that really opened up our eyes to the reality of the severity of the situation. Amazing. Now, we are talking about a lot of these powerful scenes, and some of them were get, even getting me emotional, or I had to, you know, stop and then rewatch it again. What was some of maybe your favorite powerful scenes that you guys filmed that you could talk about? So my favorite intense scene to film was probably the scene in which my character Kristen gives birth. Um, that was a lot because of a number of reasons, mainly the environment that we were in when I did shoot it. It was, I think, 20 degrees outside. We filmed it at um, midnight was the call time. So we were shooting up until five or six in the morning. Wow. Um, and in the scene, Kristen's shooting up, so I'm I'm high plus giving birth, and then um, but more it was more just like the intense elements of it all really made it feel like it was real. I mean, as far as the special effects go, they had me covered in cream cheese and pudding and fake blood to for all of you know the birthing effects and everything and. It, it was really, really, really a very intense scene, but watching it back, I'm I'm honestly so proud. I was so young when I shot it, and I, I really feel like I gave the best performance I possibly could have at that age, so it's cool to see how it all turned out and see the movie magic behind it, and you know, that, that was definitely one of my most favorite intense scenes to film, I think. Let's see. Well, first of all, Katie, your performance in the film blew me away. Good. Yeah. Absolutely blew me away. It is phenomenal. I don't think anyone else could have played Chris in the way that you did. So worth it. Oh, that. Paola, thank you. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> um, but it's it's the truth. I would say, okay, I wouldn't necessarily say this was my favorite scene to film because I after we were done filming the scene, I was so impacted by it that I was still crying as myself, not even in character. This was just I was so touched after filming this that it took me a minute to pull myself out of it. I would say the most difficult, if you will, intense scene to film for me was the eulogy that Hannah delivers after Kristen passes away. So we were in a real church and then in the couple front rows of the, the pew, if you will, there were families that had actually lost loved ones to addiction. Oh wow. So mm -hmm. having them there, front row, center in the audience, uh, there were, yeah. No words. I literally have no words. It was very intense, but I was so grateful that they were even there. I know that it wasn't easy for them by any means to sit through and listen to that. It's very much like reliving what they went through in their own personal lives, but it was such a gift to have them there on set and to be able to meet them and just give them a hug. Now, can you guys like cry on the spot now since there were so many crying scenes like in the movie? <laughs> I'm not asking you to do it now, but like... <laughs> Um, I think that a crime comes with just having empathy for the character and really knowing your character and really knowing the who, what, when, where, why, your motivation. So I just really, we, I'm sure Paola knew Hannah very well. I still know Kristen. She's like tucked away in a little piece of me. So it really just comes with empathizing with your character and, you know, feeling what they're going through. But I guess, yeah, I guess we can. <laughs> Close your eyes, take a couple deep, deep breaths and you're there. <laughs> deep breath, that's what seals the deal, yeah. What do you really hope people take away from watching the movie? Is there one, you know, we keep saying that there are all these messages. It is kind of evident, you know, what you guys are trying to portray, but is there anything else that you think, you know, people should be looking out for? I think at the 
end of the day, of course, like you said, there's so, so, so many important messages that we hope people take away from this film. But I, I feel like at the end of the day, the number one message that I hope that people get is, is really that, you know, that recovery is possible. It, it does not, you can, you can get through it and you can make it. And really at the end of the day, the goal is to just save one life. I, if we save one person's life, one person from having an addiction, if for me, in my opinion, that really is the end goal with the film. And I do feel like people that watch this film, it, it might open up their eyes to see that recovery is an option for them.